Hello, how are you? It's uh, Sue Maddox from MaddoxCreations.com here with you today and we're going to have a little bit of a look at the August to December mini catalogue that we've got here. Let's zip straight over and have a little peek at the cover. So this should have started arriving um, customers in your mailboxes. I think they, they started to get mailed out about a week ago so I hope hopefully yours is there and I'm just going to take you through have a little bit of a closer look at a couple of my favorites um, this one goes live I think it's next week isn't it is it August so August I think it's the fourth so not too long now and we can um, grab some little bits and pieces out of that ready for our holiday creating Christmas creating okay let's have a look at the first thing that jumped out at me which was the poinsettia petals um, bundle so I love this bundle you've got the beautiful flowers here let's have a look hi Mel how are you good to see you I've already dyed my flowers you can see because I, I stamped them in red um, so they're, they're they'll stamp well the red does usually dye these um, ones a little bit so you get a bit of staining but lovely set of flowers there and then you've also got the dyes here that cut out so you've got for each flower there is an outline die if you just want to stamp the flower and cut out the ooh, let's put it on a plain background so you can see so if you want to cut out the flower that you've stamped and then there's also this lovely little um, embossing one as well that fits that fits in with it you can pop those through and then you get a beautiful embossed um, image if you want to use it without the stamp I'll show you an example um, in just a moment um, the other one I've been using out of this one a lot already is this lovely little little one that cuts the little, I don't know, like berry things. They, they're lovely just for adding a little little embellishment underneath your flower. Or there's some leaves in there as well. So that's a lovely set. Let me just show you it in action. Actually, before I do that, I'll show you there's also some pattern paper that comes in this product suite. So let's have a look at that. It is... The poinsettia petals where are we poinsettia place DSP um, it's it's the 12 by 12 paper um, I've cut mine down into 6 by 6 just to make it a bit easier to, to show you and to use so you can see you've got these lovely lovely patterns there some wood grain always handy little berries on that one another just nice plain green the colors that coordinate with um, this bundle hi Tina how are you uh, it's real red, old olive, garden green, bumblebee, and soft suede are the colours in this lot. So I find it handy actually to grab out a half a sheet or so of each of those and just pop it in the pack with the papers, and then yeah, you're all set to go. It sort of just gives that nice little visual of what's there. I love this one. This is my favourite. I think love these berries or little buds or whatever they are. Another nice little plain green pattern. It's always handy when you've got a few of those as well as some of the busier patterns just to work together. Another little poinsettia there. Pine cones. I like this. This brown one too is lovely. And there we go. So let me just show you it in action on a card. So this one, this one I've stamped um, onto shimmery white, I think I did. Um, and, then, and then cut out all the different layers. So I've got actually got four layers, I think, there in my flower. Um, and then you can see how those nice, I uh, yeah, wanted a little touch more red to come out the side, so that was that was handy there. And I've used a couple of the different DSPs and, and some just little matting with the, the other colours. I wanted just a nice little greeting there, so I actually, I've grabbed out, this one's made a comeback, so we did have this last year in our holiday catalogue, it's Christmas Gleaming, and I find that stamp there just a really, a nice little greeting, I just wanted a sort of small size and I just snipped him out with the scissors so that's that now my favorite um, thing I think of all out of this suite is these beautiful beaded pearls let's have a little closer look at those I've already ordered um, three packs of these and I can see I'm going to go through a lot they're um, just beautiful so they come in like the little bundles of three pearls with some yeah just a beautiful way to add some sparkle with your glue dots so that, they look great for in the centre of the flower. Um, the other thing I've used on this one is the uh, one of the embossing folders there. So that, that's a little bundle of two embossing folders. And yeah, just had a nice little plain um, way to add a little bit of texture. So that's that one. Now this next example, um, you, you're either going to love or hate, so because not everyone is, um, some people like the traditional colours for Christmas. I've always loved um, blues and 
blues and purples and pinks and things like that. So I thought I'd try one of the poinsettias in blue. Um, I'll grab out which I think it's balmy blue. So I've uh, tried a little blue one here with the, another um, paper from another bundle I'm going to show you in just a moment. But doesn't that come up well? So this one I haven't used the stamp at all. I've just um, cut them out and then there's the little embossing layer that embosses each flower. Let's come up a bit closer so you can see that. And that looks lovely. And then just once again I've used, I'm, I'm really liking those little this little um, element in, um, to use instead of the leaves. And then once I'd done the greeting, I just wanted to tie in a little bit of that blue. So I've just popped a couple of tiny little bits um, of the berry sort of dye with the, with the blue one. So I like that one too. Okay, so that's my, that's my two finished cards. I've got a couple halfway made ones. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I've always loved blue for, for Christmas. What else was in that bundle? There was something else I wanted to show you. It was the red sheer ribbon. So that's this one. So it's a nice soft um, sheer one. It's a centimetre wide. Um, yeah, and that's a lovely, that's a lovely ribbon that comes in that pack as well. And the other thing that's in that suite with the poinsettias is this beautiful plush. Uh, plush poinsettia specialty paper they call it and I wish you could feel it it's just one of those nice um, touchy feely ones so it's got like a flocked um, pattern on it so a really nice um, it's like a shiny yeah, it's got a real shimmer to it the base it's like a shiny sort of vellum and then it's got this white fluffy um, velvety pattern over it so there's I think there's three different patterns here and you get two sheets of each. It's in the 12 by 12. Feels lovely. Um, yeah, so that's that's those ones. So nice if you want to add a nice little textural element there. Okay, I think that was that out of that bundle. Let's have a look at the next one. Now this is not my normal style. I don't usually go for these um, these sort of ones, but this just caught my eye, this gnome for the holidays. So we've got our cute little gnomes here, a cute little gnome house and some little greetings. So I've been having a little bit of a play with that one. I really like the samples. I can't show you the inside pages yet, but if you've got your catalogue at home, I love the samples they had in the catalogue really just made this one jump into my cart. So I set him up on the Stamparatus. I think I've taken him off now. Oh, no, here it is. So I've set up the little ones here on the Stamparata so I can just pop my um, my piece of cardstock down. And I, it did take me a couple of goes. I needed to ink him up and stamp him twice just to get a nice, a nice outline there. And then he's all set to colour. So now I've got to say I, I did not do a very good job of my first um, colouring. Although it actually it, it ended up okay in the end. So here's my first go here with the stamping blends. And I don't know if you can see, but on this guy's hat, I just really, it bled a lot out of the lines. I think I'd like to try it again, actually, with um, black embossing powder. So you get that sort of raised outline and just helps you stop. I just nudged over and because it was with those really bright reds and greens, he looked it looked a bit um, yuck. I was going to keep it just on that white piece. But instead, I just went around the outside with, um, I don't know, one of the neutral colours. And then it still looked a little bit, yeah, it looked a little bit messy. So I ended up, I, I cut them out. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with these. I thought I might um, make use of, another thing in the catalogue is these felt, um, festive felt combo pack. It's got um, some green, some white, some brown and some red felt. And I thought those colours look quite nice. I might come up with something like that, I think, to finish him off. Okay, so that's that. My colouring, I have not got any fabulous tips for colouring really, but I always just tend to, so for, for the um, this little Christmas tree hat here, I just coloured it with the light colour first and then just added a little bit of dark down this side and then just blended it again with the light one. So nothing magical there really, but it, yeah, it comes up really, really nice. I can't wait to turn this into a finished card. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. The next one, this one, um, I loved... And it is the Snowflake um, Splendor Bundle, or the Snowflake, what is it? Snowflake Wishes Bundle and the Snowflake um, Splendor Pattern Paper. So I've, I've always, yeah, I pretty much get every snowflakey one that we've had over the last few years. So this one, a whole bunch of different um, snowflakes there, some lovely greetings. I love these greetings that um, have the combination of a couple of different fonts there, are nice too. 
Now, actually, having said that, we probably are not going to use a lot of these ones because it's Snowflake Wishes for a Merry Christmas. Probably not so relevant here in Australia, but I do like this one down here, May Your Season Sparkle. I thought, oh, that's, that's nice. Everyone can use a bit of sparkle, can't they? Um, this is the dies that go with it. So we cut out these beautiful, we've got some outlines that cut out the stamps and then also some nice little um, ones that have a little bit of embossing and a bit of detail as well. There's another one in the back here. I like this one. This cuts a, a nice window. There's two spare snowflakes in the middle, but this one cuts a nice window with a beautiful snowflake detail in the side. So that I'm looking forward to trying this one. I haven't had a play with this yet, but it um, looks great. Now, the pattern paper that goes with this is just a stunner. If you like snowflakes, I don't care if it's hot in Australia in winter. I still love um, love these, this range. So this one is the um, Snowflake Splendor DSP. And it's got a mixture of snowflakey ones and then these beautiful watercolory ones, which are nice as well. I used that one um, here for this card just in the background there. So nice way to get a little touch of those colours. Let's have a little look here. So we've got this one, some more snowflakes, all different sorts of snowflake backgrounds there. Some plainer ones if you wanted a little bit more subtle or to contrast. There we go. I love this one. That one looks nice with a little colour background. And then if we flip over on the back, a little quieter one. Another one of these beautiful um, wash backgrounds that would be nice just even for not Christmas um, creating, I think. That one's pretty... A little bit um, softer, more subtle. This one and lucky last. So they were lovely. These are some of our colours um, that coordinate. Once again, this is uh, 12 by 12 sheets. These ones, I've just cut them down. Um, some of our colours that match with them. Your catalogue will show you um, all of the matching colours. Or you can flip over your pack if you get that paper and it'll list the colours on the back. So I find it helpful. Yep, just to grab those out. Keep that with the pack and then... I'm all set to do some creating. Um, there's also an embossing folder that goes with that that um, embosses these nice lovely snowflakes. So lots and lots of cool things in that one. Um, the other thing that's in there is this, what's it called? Snowflake Splendor Ribbon. So this one's, it's got an iridescent, um, I don't know if you can see that. Let's have a look here. Iridescent um, sheen to it. It's got metallic thread through it. It's quite a stiff ribbon, so it almost almost feels a little bit um, plasticky sort of. It's quite a stiff one. I'm not sure. Don't think it'd be one that you could tie a nice soft bow or something with. But it's a beautiful that sheen that goes through it is just lovely. So yeah, I think a couple of nice strips across the card would look beautiful with that one. What else have we got? Let's have a little look here. Um, now. This one made me buy the um, triangle dies that I hadn't got the, the stitch triangle dies before, but I really like the samples they've got in the catalogue with this tree angle set. So some beautiful, um, just really modern looking um, triangles here for Christmas trees. Um, if you'd like that nice modern funky look, if you grab your catalogue out and have a look at the samples made with that, you'll see what I mean. So yeah, that definitely, I had to get the triangle dies then. They've been stalking me a little bit. So that was a good one. Um, what else do we have? Another thing that jumped out at me was just this um, tag punch. It's called the Essential Tag Punch. Um, yeah, and that looks that looks quite a good one as well. I quite like him. So just a nice little shape there. Okay. Now, I don't usually, um, I don't make things for Halloween or for Thanksgiving, of course, but there's often some nice little products hiding on those pages as well. So one that I, I really loved, the samples they made with this one, it's called Life is Beautiful. It's over in that um, area with all the, the Thanksgiving products for the, the our US um, customer or people. Um, but yeah, this one looks beautiful. That beautiful tree, lovely leaves, there's some um, nice... Yeah, just some really nice cards made with that one. So looking forward to a play with that. Um, also in that section of the catalogue is this, which is just a stunner. It's called the Brushed Metallics um, Pack. And we've got copper, bronze and gold. And yeah, it's just beautiful. It's got a little bit of a brushed finish to it. Um, so sort of like a streak through it, I guess you'd say. And they look really, really lovely. So. So it's sort of hard to show those, I think, on screen, but take my word for it. That's very nice. Oh, what was the pun? Did I not notice? I might not have noticed the pun. I'll have to go back. 
Or triangle. Yes, yes. You're right. Good, good pick up, Tina. Well done. <laughs> um, the other one out of those same pages is this beautiful combo ribbon pack. It's got a basket weave ribbon, I think they call it. Let's come up a little bit closer. And then this nice metallic copper one. So really nice combo of ribbons there if you like your ribbons to match your projects and add a little finishing touch. Now in the um, Thanksgiving, no not Thanksgiving, in the Halloween section, I, mean, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but I just really just like the look of it. It's this beautiful, um, what is it called, metallic mesh ribbon. So it's just a silver metallic mesh. I think it would just bunch up quite nicely. Yeah, so that, one, that jumped out at me. And there is a whole bunch. I think I've pretty much bought every um, embellishment that's in this catalogue because I just love little sparkly things, especially when you can just uh, stick them straight on. So we've got the wonderful gems in the the red and the whatever that is. It's got they've got a little touch of um, what do you call it? Gold glitter through those, I think, as well. So they're they're quite pretty. The all the trimmings embellishments. So different shapes there. These are. Um, the, the circles and then we've also got some stars that could be handy for on top of those Christmas trees or just little finishing touches. Um, I love these ones, the adhesive back snowflakes, just little tiny ones there with the adhesive backing so nice and easy. Um, something to help you with those is the take your pick tool so particularly this little um, spatula end, very handy for just sliding off those um, adhesive backed embellishments. This one's nice as well, the blue adhesive back gems. So I don't know if you can see how shiny and lovely they are. I really like those. Actually, I might, might add them over to some that card over there. And this one, I think this was in the Halloween section as well. They're called Iridescent Pearls, and they are just beautiful. They're, oh, I don't know, it's sort of like peacocky colours. There's a little gleam of blue and purple and green and just really, really lovely. They're, they look nice on any, any project, I think. Okay, what else did I have here? That might be getting close to the end of my pile, I think. Oh, no, nearly forgot. Can't forget Glimmer Paper. Cecile, if you're watching the replay later. Oh, this doesn't really show up the colour that it is. But this is um, balmy blue. So it is actually a nice, really pretty soft blue. We're definitely, let's see if I can get a bit of light over here and get that blue to show. Oh, that's a bit better. Okay, that gives you a bit more of a, a closer look. So a beautiful blue... Um, glimmer paper there that's that's lovely if you're a bit of a glimmer paper fan there's also I think a black glimmer paper as well um, in there so a couple of nice ones there okay I think that is about um, it for today so that's um, some of the bits and pieces that jumped out at me I'll have a bit more of a play I might show you a few more things um, once I get some more bits and pieces made um, in the meantime, don't forget, last couple of days of the, um, what is it called, the bonus days thing. If you spend $90, you get a $9 coupon to use next month. Um, our new um, Christmas catalogue goes live on about the, I think it's the 4th of August. So if there's anything that caught your eye, let me know, get in touch or shop online um, from the 4th of August. They'll start appearing. Um, and in the meantime, I hope you are all keeping well and um, having a bit of craft time, a bit of time creating, popping some of those cards in the post for someone special. And I'll take care everyone and I'll see you again next time. Okay, bye, thank you.